Hello, my friends. Is Kia here? Kia. Is Kia here? Okay, this is my cousin, long lost cousin. I haven't seen in like forever. Gosh, Hello. It's been like, it's over 20 years. Yeah. This is Sue. Hello. Her, her whole name is Susan. There we are. But we call her Sue. And she just moved here to Arizona. From North Carolina. I'm in Arizona now after 30 years living in the same place. Same and town. she just up and decided it was time to change her life. And mm -hmm. I totally support her. Mm -hmm. and it's though, scary. It's scary. It really is. Very scary. So Paige came to visit and helped me a little bit along the way. And um, we've had a wonderful time. We've had a blast. It's been very I even nice. lost my wallet. That was scary. <laughs> and we almost lost one of the dogs. <laughs> Yes, that was even scarier. Scary. <laughs> my little chihuahua <laughs> did not appear at the door, and I wondered where is she. And at the same time, Paige's, she has, I call her Paige, um, wallet went missing. So we were both, it was a mess. I put, I put it in a secret pocket so nobody would find it. Nobody did. <laughs> yeah. But she did, so <clears throat> it was all good. But I'm real proud of her. I mean, she's taken a huge step for her life, and it's all, not always easy. And I'm kind of excited for her step two and three because, you know, it's not hard. It's not. It's not easy to make a change like that. But it's not so hard once you get going. After the first couple of steps are taken, what do you think? It's a huge change. It's a it's a huge change. But you like the area. I love the area. Scottsdale is beautiful, and I've been to Sedona. Uh, spent a few days there because her cousin, my brother, owns a few restaurants in the area between Sedona and Scottsdale, Phoenix. So um, I'm kind of going both places. And he's awesome. And he is awesome. I wish he was here. I wish he was too. But um, but I have enjoyed every minute of it. Now it's only been it's only been nine days. That little over a week. A little over a week. Nine ten days. And I just found out that she was going to be here. It was like at the beginning, or three, right at the beginning when you were making was, your plans to go on a journey. Yeah, it was like two or three days before I left to go on my journey here, and I found out we happened to talk on Facebook, and it was like, and she was like, "Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm moving to Arizona," and I said, "Well, wait a minute, I'm going right through there." <laughs> come on, come on. So it, it worked out. It was like perfect, perfect timing. That Although I don't know where anything is, I don't. We found the grocery store and we found a few places. We found a church, which was wonderful this morning. We drove to a church that was recommended to me by a friend in North Carolina, and um, got paid it was to very go. cool. It was yeah. very cool. They started the whole thing with a meditation, mm -hmm. and uh, it was it wasn't like a your typical religion church. Mm -hmm. It was very non denominational, very laid back. Going um, shorts and flip flops, that's fine. And uh -huh. Very friendly. They even have online, they even do their thing online, we've heard him say, because he the said hello to everybody online. Yeah. So it was kind of cool. I mean, the, when, when they started out with the, the service with a meditation, a guided meditation, I was like, I was actually impressed. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, it was kind of cool. So I'm glad she's got that here. Yeah. And then she started me on cross stitching. Oh, yes. So we're going to cross stitch and what else? Rug looping? Yeah. It's, it's like the old fashioned rug looping, which is, I think okay. now they call it punch needed. Okay. And we've um, got all kinds of activities for me to do. Yay for that. And she's got two dogs to keep her company when Mercer's not here. Mm -hmm. Mercer is the name of my cousin, by the way. So, Chef Mercer. Yes, Chef Mercer. Chef Moore, yes. And I, this house that I'm living in, that we're in now, has no nothing to cook on. No plates, <laughs> pots, pans. Paige brought pots and pans, <laughs> thank God. Or we wouldn't have had, been able to have our omelet. <laughs> it's just so funny. My cousin, he's been a five-star chef for yeah. all of these years, 30 years. He's just done nothing but three, four, three spoons, three knives. <laughs> And she four. has nothing in here but drinks. Yeah. Oh, anything to make a drink. Look, anything. To it's all drinks. We finally got other stuff in it, but spritzers, <laughs> alcohol, alcohol, alcohol. 
we don't drink. So, <laughs> although one night Paige That's thought she right. was, <laughs> thought she was drinking a soda, and it ended up being an alcoholic beverage. But yeah, it was like it didn't five. phase her a no. bit. But anyway, she had one. She's like, do you know you're drinking alcohol? Hard I was like, huh? I don't know. Mike it was black name. cherry. It looked good. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't taste like alcohol at all. They lied. Oh, yeah. I swear they lied. You get out of line. <laughs> I know. <laughs> people keep telling me, you need to get out. You need more. to get out. <laughs> you do, but she's so good at finding her way around. We have... Bless her heart. I don't know. I couldn't have done it without her. So I've got the places that I need to know where to go to. I need. I now know how to get to. Thank God for Paige. Yes, yeah, she's a good navigator. It's all the years of traveling. I think it must be. She has a great sense of direction. Maybe it's the gaming. I don't know what that is yet. You know, left, shows. right, east, west. I don't know. Because you got that. In the how do you know? How do you know? <laughs> it's like I just have no clue where to turn. How do you know? She's Instant. a little directionally challenged. I but, hey, she got her pom tom to work. I did. So and for those of you that have pom tom, don't know what, what pom tom is. It's the GPS. The GPS. It's not. It's not what. Oh my. <laughs> it's the when she first said, she said, "I got to get my pom tom to work," and I was like, "What?" I didn't even <laughs> think of it. Oh my God, that's funny. Funny. But it's funny because it, she lives on this road right off the subdivision they live on the whole avenue is just full of these huge 12 foot and 15 foot cats that look like penises <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> so I call it Dildo Avenue and so when funny. she said I got to get my pom pom to work it was just like, I don't know. I need to get out more. We do. <laughs> we do. Yep. So anyway, we wanted to check in. You need to tell about your adventures. What, where have you been in the last few days? Because I know well, it's true. They have been, been offline. Been, we haven't had internet. We have not had internet. My brother paid for so many minutes, and in this house, the minutes were up the other day, and so we've lost our internet. And so that's why I couldn't check in. So I don't know. It's it really cool because when I left, um, when I left. San Diego, I had found out that the two people that I was supposed to meet with uh, couldn't. And so I just did a walkabout, sort of well write about. And so I just kind of drove across uh, California and I have a lot of great um, pictures and footage and stuff that I'll put in a collage and edit. And as soon as I can get to the internet, um, I'll upload segments of that beautiful country it's beautiful mm -hmm. here it just is. to get in uh scottsdale you have to drive right through two huge odd looking red mountains red rocks red rocks they call them red rocks mm -hmm. um it's pretty amazing i got some footage of that um not that it's a huge deal on camera but i, I think it, it is beautiful though. It, in person everywhere you look it is everywhere you see is mountain ranges off in the distance and it's real bright and clear. You can actually see them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know, just the terrain is really neat. So for those of you that live in Arizona, I'm in a good way envious mm -hmm. because it is beautiful. It is really beautiful. I think the cost of living is a little higher where we are, but compared to Eric, like compared yeah. to North Carolina. Oh really? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You moved west. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's less here than it is in California. So, like for instance, the gas prices when I left on my trip was four forty nine, three forty nine. No, when I left, oh four forty nine, right? Yeah, and it was okay. three forty eight here, right? So yeah. a dollar difference, big jump. That's big a jump. huge difference. So, although I think the gas gas prices went down a little bit, but anyway, well, it's Memorial Day weekend too, so you got to mm -hmm. take that into consideration because they jack the prices up. I um, I have to tell you really quickly. Um, I got Paige hooked on Nutella. Oh my God! I have never tried Nutella. I never thought I would ever be hooked to anything such like that. But that she gave me with a raisin bread. Red, raisin bread. Raisin bread and Nutella. Right. Let me better on toast. But we have no toaster here. Right. 
go get the Fish container. Yeah. And I get the big container. This has got to be so bad for us. No, it's not. It's, you know what? That's where it's I like it. It's got hazelnut in it. Hazelnut. Yeah. I, I love that. Hazelnut. Hazelnut. Love. And it, it looks like chocolate, but it's really it's like, like chocolate. Nutella. It's like the crack. We even we even went so far as to put it on our ice cream. She kept telling me, don't you want it on your ice cream? And I'm like, no, I don't want it. I'm, I just got a spoonful, however you want it, it's good. <coughs> so I got her hooked on something new and exciting. Oh, my gosh, I don't dare buy it when I get home, though. We did try to look for the fruit that you were talking about. It, we had the cherimoya. Cherimoya. But we couldn't find it. Oh, fruit, so we man. Were yeah, I, I got everybody fruit. looking for that. It's funny because I got a message yeah. and it said, I, you, can, I have been looking for that fruit ever since you did that video. Well, so I'm definitely going to look. I'm curious now. Mm -hmm. You know what? You could probably order it online somewhere probably. and find a place that holds it close. Probably. I mean, you know, it sells it closer. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let's do a search on the internet to find okay. out. If we but, had any. Yeah, if we had any knowledge, true. I know. <laughs> She's addicted to the internet already. Well, I mean, that's all I've got. That's right. My that's her communication. My bank account. She's like me. That's that's my, my outlet to the world. To the world right now is internet, and it's been taken away. And I'm very sad. <laughs> we're we're in the morning. To get in the car. We're going to this call. Yeah. <laughs> it's been 24 hours. I think we're doing no, quite it's well. No, more than that. Has it been two days? Yeah, you're yeah. delirious. Yeah, I'm quite delirious. <laughs> Well, we're going to go now, but thank you for joining us. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, now, Kelsey, your mom is a star now. And Jeff, my mom would never do this. And you did it. I did it. Sure. Star. star is what bucket list. Bucket list. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Have a great day.